Sometimes when we're trying to come up with new ideas for videos, we'll sit in my living room, we'll have a, like a little powwow, and after some time of intense thinking and frustration, we'll say things like, people just wanna see crazy stuff, like turning your front door into a surfboard. Then we'll stop for a brief second and we'll start to think about how crazy that actually is, and then I'll say something like, hmm, well if we did, we would first, Take the door off its hinges, cut it into a surfboard shape, and then fill it with great stuff foam. So for today's experiment, we're doing exactly that. We wanna see if it's possible to take my front door and turn it into a real working surfboard. All right, the first step is we have to take this door off its hinges. We're gonna need a new front door. <laughs> Now for the shape of this board, I decided we're gonna go like in a long board, beginner board type shape. And the reason we wanna do that is because this material is gonna be very difficult to make into a functioning surfboard. So I figured let's start with an easy shape to actually ride a wave. I'm excited about this. <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. <laughs> Hey uh, dudes, you guys want to get surfing? Door's always open. <laughs> you can see right through the other side. Gosh, I hope this thing just sticks together. Surf's up, bro. All right, so the next step is we're gonna fill it with great stuff foam. Shake some great stuff foam. Foam? Very juicy, very foamy. Well, she's full now. So we've just filled all the cavities of the door with great stuff foam. And what's interesting to note is that wooden surfboards are hollow on the inside. That's what keeps them afloat. Foam boards uh, keep afloat because they have micro bubbles in the material itself. And in essence, our door surfboard is a hybrid between both a wood surfboard and a foam board. The next step is we're just gonna go around the edges here and we're going to carve this extra foam out of here. We're just gonna literally just shave it right off. It's a polyurethane tumor. Woo! Just a wee lip. A wood there to make a little bit of a, a rounded edge so that you can make it look like that. See that there's a surfboard. That there's a doorboard. Oh look, it's a puppy. Hey puppies. Hello. So we're basically doing the exact same thing as we did on the bottom, just to give it this rounded little edge. Uh, that way it just doesn't get caught in the water too hard. It's time to flip the board. <laughs> That's the surf music. <sighs> Could have been a lot worse. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> now we're filling all of these little areas right here with great stuff foam. Not sponsored, but hit me up, great stuff foam, because we love your product. We're doing this because this would create a lot of drag in the water. And so by eliminating all these little gaps, which is just sort of the design of the door, we'll actually have a streamlined bottom of the board so that it would make it a lot easier for Danny to get up and actually surf. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to install the fins. I'm basically just gonna copy this fin configuration. All right, so Nick made a bunch of little incisions here, but does it fit? So oh, push waist down. Oh my God, I didn't read the manual. Thanks, ah! Lord, you us with the incisions. Hell to the yeah. Put that in there. So. Boom and boom. Oh, wow. now that's a fin. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to cover it with a fiberglass cloth, and then we're going to cover that with um, epoxy resin. And that's almost exactly how real surfboards are made. So in a way, we're kind of doing the same steps, but it's door. I feel like with our engineering, we should be able to make this happen. So overnight, it, it dried, and you can see that it's, it looks wet, but it's actually totally dry. It, yeah, it's like lumpy, and it's not amazing <laughs> for a real surfboard, but as a front door build, this is fantastic. So we're gonna go ahead and put another coat on the top now to seal the top. And we're gonna try to put together as much uh, of the fiberglass cloth as we can so that it seals 
the whole door all together so it's airtight. Definitely watertight, not airtight. On a scale from one to mint. It's mint. All right, so the next step is I'm going to sand down some of the epoxy that's already dried. And I'm gonna apply one last hot coat, which is actually just the epoxy, but you heat it up, it's hot. And I'm gonna air dry it with a heat gun to just speed this process up. Then we're, then we're gonna be done. And then we can actually take this thing out in the water. Da, da, da. I mean, if we were to combine a front door and a surfboard, that's, this is what you're gonna get here. Now, even though I live in LA and I'm really close to the ocean, I actually don't like the water because it's really cold here. I actually don't surf either, so we're gonna hit up my good friend, Danny Burke. We're gonna drive down to San Diego, meet up with him, and we're gonna see if he can actually surf this front door. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, these both mates. I got, uh, I got you some Chipotle. Oh, good, thanks. We wanted to show you the board that we made for my front door. We just want your immediate reaction. I'd... Oh my God, <laughs> holy <laughs> shit. We have your leash down here, and we have a little GoPro mount up here. Dude, this is insane. <laughs> this is freaking nuts. <laughs> now, the only thing I'm wearing, it's just super heavy, and heavy boards are hard to ride, but surfing this thing, 100%. Let's just hope it floats. Yeah. Step one. Yeah. The boys wow. are stoked. I'm feeling frothy. Explain to me how you wax a board. So this is like the base coat. Okay. You go like this. And then you go in circles and it gives you like the nicest bumps. I don't know how. I like it. I mean, it's pretty Do you think that Danny will be able to get up on this? Roll in on Danny. We got it. You got it, bro. <laughs> I appreciate the support. I'm just, I just can't wait to after I catch my waves. Now we're going to go get some tacos. Shred that gnar. This is a door. I'm about to go surf. We now know, for the first time ever, we know that the board floats. <laughs> so that's a step in the right direction, guys. He, he made it over a wave. We're off to another good start. Yeah! He doesn't float. Like, who's going to save him? Who's really good at swimming here? I will do it. Look at the size of it. Oh, oh my God! God! Jenny! Yeah! Really hard. Oh God, he's alive! Thank God. Wow. Dude. Wow, Dude. he dropped in. He what an adrenaline kick! Dude, he legit went for Dude, it. That was like a straight up pipe. You're making up words. I caught my first wave. It was like a bomb. That thing was big, and I went right on it. And I dropped down. I just, I just go curl just straight down and get worked, but. Feel it out. I'm gonna get better and better each wave. So. Oh, I think there's another wave coming. I gotta go. Let's go. Freaking hard to surf an actual door from a house. I just scraped my whole chin against the water. I don't know. I feel like I'm good though. Danny definitely got up on the board. Okay, the, but the board is flat, great. so it's really hard for him to get the nose up properly to actually surf. This is He's gotta get like real back to center of gravity. He's gotta get like way far back to actually get the nose up. <laughs> but we're getting closer. Things are happening. Hey man, we're getting closer. It's gonna take some more practice, a couple more ways. I feel like I'm gonna get it. Danny's a perfectionist, so I think he wants to like really Shred the gnar, shred some more gnar one time, really sick like. Wait a minute, is he doing it? Oh! Oh, oh, There we go. Dude, those were so sick. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I, got, I got it Dude, for at least like three, four seconds. That was, sure. that was pretty dope, yeah. bro. That was really sick. I was stuck on that. I maybe could have rode it even sooner, 
But if I if I wax this earlier, yeah, <laughs> can't get much better than that, guys. Okay, there we go. We took my front door, we fabricated it into a surfboard, and Danny actually surfed it. Surfing a door. It sounds so weird to say, but I surfed a door. So ridiculous. Yes. Danny's got a YouTube channel. There's this video on there where he gets stung by this ant. It's totally crazy. Lots of stunts. What's the name of the YouTube channel? Dude, YouTube.com slash Danny Burke. Just Danny Burke. It's my name. I really want you guys to go over and check it out. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know how can we improve this crazy contraption. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you really soon. Now it is winter here in LA, so my girlfriend demanded that we put the door back on. And we agreed. <laughs>